Crypto's got a lot of sideways action going on right now, and I know there's a lot of people that are tremendously bullish on the Caspa crypto token, myself included, KRC20 tokens. What is going on with those coins on the Caspa KRC20 token standard? Are those launched yet? What can we expect for the timeline on that? Let's talk about it. We'll also talk about some key targets for Caspa because Bitcoin and crypto is consolidating right now. Is Caspa going up or down from here? And obviously, you know, I lean bullish for this coin for the peak of the bull market. But what are we looking at for Caspa in the meantime? If we're coming down, where are we going to? If we're coming up from here, what is the best price we can expect out of Caspa in the short term? Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's just hop right into it. And first of all, let's start with the total market cap of crypto. Uh, $2 trillion market cap. When you look at what the top projects are, obviously, we know Bitcoin's number one. And a lot of people like to compare Caspa to Bitcoin for some reason. And matter of fact, we saw this. I'll start off with this story. Why Marathon Digital is expanding into mining beyond Bitcoin. This is being reported on August 27th, where Marathon Digital CFO discussed why they chose to do some of this Caspa mining, which is very, very interesting. Um, you know, uh, Salman, uh, the CFO, emphasized talking about, you know, why they made these moves. They have a commitment to innovation. And there's no doubt that Caspa is a, you know, lesser known altcoin at this point, but still quite known, actually, amongst the crypto folks, that has faster transaction time than Bitcoin. The technology of the BlockDAG network is, the BlockDAG blockchain is very, very significant. Uh, and they recognize this. And I think that that's one of the reasons that this coin climbed up to rank number 22 in this bull market. 22. This coin didn't even exist to most crypto people in the last bull market in, in the minds of many. Excuse me. Uh, I had to sneeze there. Uh, in the minds of many, this coin basically, excuse me again, came out of nowhere. And it's currently at rank number 22, sitting at $3.9 billion in market cap. This was the top performer in the bear market. This coin kept coming up while everything was trading down or to the side because people were excited about this block DAG technology, the transaction times, and now people are excited about the potential for smart contracts being built on top of this. So right now, people are still working on uh, TN10, uh, the Test Network 10 for CASPA. They've seen 14 million transactions in 48 hours of launching TN10. Uh, the Caspa community's energy is unmatched and, you know, let's keep going. So they're very excited about all this. And this is Casplex, uh, one of the wallets and platforms, the first protocol. Actually, this is a protocol for the ecosystem, a DEX that you can kind of trade and things. And you can see it's followed by all the big tokens. But if you're not following them, you should. I just follow them as well. Um, but they're reporting on all the activity that's going on in this network. People are using it. There is excitement around this. And I know that people are waiting on... KRC20 tokens as well. So what is going on with KRC20 tokens? Well, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on that as well. Uh, KRC20 updates. We, we have nearly finished all the work of Caspa Plex's indexer, and we're waiting to do a stress test. With the release of RBF and dynamic fees, you can now experience KRC20 on TN10 via Casper Bot and Casper Wallet. This is a wallet you can use to enter and participate in the Caspa network. Uh, as well as, boom, here you go, uh, the Casper bot right here. So these are two places where you can actually send your Casper to then inter, inter, interact, excuse me, with uh, protocols like Casplex and then start trading these tokens. But just to answer the question, you know, when are KRC20 is going to be done soon? They're not done yet. A lot of successful test transactions. This is good to see. You know, a lot of volume going on, a lot of people excited, some tokens deployed, but um, we really want to see these KRC20 tokens, the big ones, go live, like Nacho the Cat, um, which is the uh, co-founder of Caspa, right? Uh, his cat, right? That's one of the memes that's very, very popular, as you can see right here. Boom, Nacho the, the Cat. Uh, Caspa the Ghost of Caspa. Also a big meme that I think people are excited about on the KRC20 network. And shout out to Zach Humphrey. He's going to do a space uh, talking about... Uh, some of the upgrades come in and some of the things going on in this ecosystem actually loves that country. It's good people. Good people. Shout out to you, brother. Um, huge YouTuber. Huge YouTuber as well. Um, 
But, you know, this is a good place to probably go and listen in on what's going on in the KRC20 ecosystem and learning about, you know, all the updates coming out. Now, we're not there yet. I, I do believe that Casper, the ghost, and I, you know, I'm not surprised to see Zach on top of this because Casper is by far the, the most vocal KRC20 project in the Casper, uh, Caspa ecosystem. Uh, and I do think if there's going to be one meme in this ecosystem that's going to do tremendously well, it's probably going to be Casper the Ghost and and probably also this Nacho the Cat or uh, Yat, maybe Kepe as well. Uh, you know, Caspa Pepe, of course. Of course there's got to be a Pepe, a Pepe uh, copycat on the Caspa chain. But anyway, uh, you know, what's going on with Caspa? What can we expect for price action right now? Well, not too much, to be honest with you guys, because right now what we're dealing with is we're just kind of dealing in this range. Can we come back to the bottom of this range? Yeah, 14 cents is easily on the table. And the best case scenario for Casper right now is about 30 cents or so. Uh, but the truth is, is you're just going to follow Bitcoin, guys, at this point. You know, yes, Casper was the outlier in the bear market. It was coming up while everything was kind of going uh, down or sideways. And some some coins were moving up. But Casper was just consistently trucking up and making new gains. That is not really a reasonable expectation at this point because crypto is exhausted. The market's exhausted and everybody's waiting on a Bitcoin pump. If we can get a Bitcoin pump, I think Casper can start ripping again. You know, we obviously see people like Marathon Digital. And if you think Marathon Digital is the only one eyeballing with big money, Casper, you would be very much mistaken. If Bitcoin can take new highs at $70,000, then Casper can likely break through maybe the 30 cent level, take a new all time high move and price discovery mode action. I'm very excited for it. I think that there's going to be some huge KRC 20 memes. Casper, the friendly ghost, you know, Casper could be one of them. Let's see how that shakes out, guys. I want to give you guys a little bit of an update today. The most bearish I'll get for Casper right now is about 14 cents. Uh, and the most bullish for the short term, and I'm talking in the next month is like 30 cents for cash. But that's all I got in this one, guys. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, don't forget to DCA, HODL, and of course, do your own research, my friends. I will see you in the next one. I have two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace, y'all. See you next time.